it happened that even Muslim they agreed that his voice is the same voice of Ibn Farouk and this is some comment just posted very fresh you guys are f such a fraud who is saying that Abdul <clears throat> replaced with someone whose voice is similarly to Uthman it happened it happened I mean his voice is similar to Uthman it happened and things and things happened you know it's similar <laughs> this guy does not even know proper English Abdul when I quote for him the English he said to me uh, give it to me in Arabic or Arabic while Uthman has an Uthman he has I, I like that go watch his videos in Arabic and die laughing so uh, listen listen uh, I, you know actually Uthman he, somebody told me I did not watch his video he, he said it is not me you know what this remind me of what this remind me of a chapter 4 verse number 157 it looked like Allah he made someone he sound like Isa he looked like Isa and he talked like Isa but it was not Isa <laughs> So who is the fraud? <laughs> Your God is the biggest fraud ever. I mean, look, even he's a prophet, supposedly. Isa is supposedly a prophet. Brother and sisters. Christian Prince, first of all, I'm going to get you with it. This is not Uthman. And this is not Isa. Allah, he replaced him and he made him appear in the cross to be Isa. Like, what the heck? So he sound like Uthman, he talk like Uthman, we call him by the name of Uthman and he answer. But it's not Uthman. He forgot, you know, he forgot that he told me in the beginning his name is Bilal. When we go hot in the topic and I call him Ibn Farouk, he did not mind. <laughs> he forgot what he told me in the beginning that he's Bilal. <laughs> anyway, anyway. <laughs> Maybe Allah replaced him, you never know. I mean, things happen in Islam. <laughs> I don't want to use that word, but you know what I'm talking about, right? Things happened. <laughs> As you see, Allah, he replaced even Isa by someone else, and he made the Christian believe it is Isa, but it's not Isa. But he looked like Isa, but it's not Isa. He sounded like Isa, but it's not Isa. And he speak to his mother, but he's not, even his mother, she could not recognize that this is not Isa. Because, brother, Allah, he cloned someone like Isa. Maybe Allah, he cloned someone like Uthman yesterday. Maybe. Allah is all, you know, capable. He's a cable and ball. <laughs> so listen, I mean, why this drama even anyway? As long as Uthman saying, it is not me. And as long he is a hero. I have a very small offer for him. If you are a man, if you are a man, I, like I know that, I, like by the look, you are a man. When you saw David Wood, you like men too. I mean, you said to him, "Mashallah, you are six foot tall." I mean, have you ever heard of a man flirting with the one who ate the Quran? Not only he is a flirting with the man, Mashallah, you are six foot tall. Why a man want to say to a man, "You are six foot"? What What does that mean? I understand that you gave him a hug. I understand that you gave him five. I understand you called him, you called him bro. And this is all against us now. You know, we know there's tons of verses in the Quran saying that we will not find one believer who is going to be friendly to those who oppose Allah. But I can say you are not a man. This is why you have to act friendly because you are so afraid. Now, when a Muslim says, I will debate you only, only if you do it face to face. And he knew that Christian Prince, he never debated anyone face to face. I sit and I have my computer and I die laughing. Why well, wanna go anywhere? Why are you making condition anyway? People they wanna see a reference, people they wanna hear the answers, and you go online all the time. So what is the problem? 
the problem you are a coward and you are intimidated and you don't dare the one who is saying no is not me it is you and everybody is laughing so this is my small offer for you with 100 discount percent discount for, for free you put your skype id on the screen i mean guys look how simple it is don't do anything just I challenge you to say this is my real ID in Skype. That's all. Do you dare? Guys, do you think he dare? He don't. Because if he put a Skype in his screen, Christian Prince will call him. And if a Christian Prince call him, he have one of two choices. Either he take the call and he will become my cat forever. Or he will reject the call and then everybody will laugh at him. What do you think? Just put your real Skype ID on your screen. Say, hey, this is my official screen. You know, you go to Skype. It shows you exactly how you can show, you know, how you can get your ID, not just a name, you know, because you can change the name as you wish in Skype. But there's a, there's a place where it shows you your ID, where people can find you so easy. Put that on screen. If you are a man who is afraid of nobody to call you and debate you, put your Skype in the screen and say, this is my official. I'm not that guy who called him yesterday. And by the way, when the Muslims, they are crying for what happened yesterday, they are agreeing that nobody can debate me still. Because it doesn't matter really if this is Uthman or his sister. What matter is, Islam is a stupid. So be a man and just say this is my skype id christian prince my skype id is db tv very simple what is your skype there is no need for this drama if you ever come to me i will meet you i would i mean all of this you know you do it because simply you know that christian prince you go nowhere you are not even worth to spend a penny to meet you even uh, even a second of my time here we said Thousands of people will join. Muslim will support you. I don't want anyone to support me, including the Christians. And let the world judge. People, they go by what you said and what I said. And not only that, I promise you, no personal insult, as long as you don't do personal insult to me. I promise you, I will call you, you go live on air, which means I'm not going to hang up on you, you can hang up on me. And if you hang up on me, you are a coward. I will never hang up on you. What do you want more? And as long as this guy, he was horrible yesterday, which is Uthman, well, let us say that the real Uthman, maybe, he can do better, can you? You can even speak about the same topic, was the angels faithful or they are not faithful? <laughs> <laughs> what a potato cult so all of you all of those who grow beard you know all of them brother and sister I trend Christian Prince I'm going to go to America and debate him in America like what the heck all what it take a click in your screen and thousands and millions of people will hear you and by the way Sheikh Uthman if you cannot debate me can you pray to Allah to send somebody a replica like you like what he did to Isa so the Christian they were looking at the cross and man he looked like Isa yeah yeah this is Isa oh look, look exactly his even his eyes man uh-huh yeah his hair too the mother of Isa is looking at Isa. Uh, this is. Do you think this is Isa? She said, "This is you, my my son. You idiot! What are you talking about? Allah, he clone best. 
Allah the best fraud deceiving person ever so if you cannot debate me what about you pray to Allah to replace you with a replica, a replica like you and you send him to me and then after you debate me which is not you it is a replica you deny it you say this is someone look like me he talk like me his name is like me his voice is like me and he's a potato like you huh and then people will believe you because Allah he have history of doing that if Allah is going to do that to Isa he will not do it to you like come on history repeat itself Allah always he put somebody instead of somebody like hold on didn't didn't Allah he sent someone his name is Jibreel in the look of Dahir al Kalbi, which is the most handsome boy on Quraysh. Allah have history. I mean, he could not find a look for Jibreel. Like Jibreel, he said, Okay, Allah, I'm going to go to Muhammad. How am I going to go to Muhammad? Allah, he said to him, Wait, there's a nice boy. He is very handsome there, huh? He is like, you know, 20 something. I'm going to send you, you know, in his look. So now we have two Dahir al Kalbi in town. Which one is Jibreel? So when Dahi al-Kalbi speak to Muhammad, it is Dahi al-Kalbi. And when Jibreel speak to Muhammad, it was Dahi al-Kalbi too. <laughs> See my friend, Allah have, have history of replacing people. Look, the Quran says, the Quran says brother, the Quran says, not Christian prince that Allah he appointed to every prophet shaitan what the heck yes brother and yesterday we asked the guy about the shaitan is employed by Allah he said yes all of us we are employed by Allah <laughs> chapter 6 verse number 112 it says that we appoint to, to every prophet enemies shaitan not only shaitan shayateen okay well that's good but the crazy thing is that shaitan who Allah he sent him he sent him in the look of Jibreel like what the heck so Jibreel is not Jibreel Jibreel is Dahi al-Kalbi but Dahi al-Kalbi is not Jibreel but Jibreel is Dahi al-Kalbi and shaitan is Jibreel but shaitan is not Jibreel. But he looked like Jibreel. But Jibreel is not shaitan. But shaitan is Jibreel because he looked like Jibreel. Like what is wrong with this religion? Everybody cloning everybody. So what about you clone yourself? Sheikh Uthman. And you put your Skype on the screen. I mean, it is not really hard. It is so simple. If you refuse, obviously, you are terrified. Be the man. We will speak for three hours maximum. Let us say from now, three hours maximum. After that, if I hang up or you hang up, it's over. That means it's, the time is up and there's nobody is running away. Three hours. If you cannot make it three hours because you have to wash dishes, okay, two hours brother if you cannot make it two hours one hour okay hold on if you cannot make it two hour half hour oh man i cannot squeeze it to 15 minutes and i advise you when you call me to choose your location perfectly which is going to be the bathroom for all your books is from the bathroom and we can prove it if you dare to call me so you can grab the books easy from the shelf. The Shia had said to the Sunni, You have a huge science of bathroom because all your books are about bathroom. The Shia is insulting the Sunni supposedly. And they are right. If I go right now and search for, I will type a word, just a word, fault. I mean, come on. You see, how in the world we will find this fort 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 
fort. I mean, this is a fort in prophet. And even when Shaitan he hear the Muslim praying, Shaitan fort. There's a connection between farting and Islam. And Mr. Uthman is farting all over. It's not me. I did not call him. Okay, then you let us make me call you. If it's not you, be the man, be the man, stop being a coward. All of you are the same. Making one excuse, I will debate him only face to face. Trust me, you don't want to see my face. You will die from fear. I saw you when, when they told you David Ruth came to you the day before. Second day, you, you rented two guys from the mosque and they are six foot tall to stand behind you. Go watch the video. You were terrified. You thought David Ruth is going to eat you the same he ate the Quran. You are a potato. So stop being you know intimidated. I'm not going to eat you, even if you are crispy. I promise. All what you need, and let me repeat again because they are slow. Just put your Skype on the screen and leave the rest for me. That's all, guys. Is that too much? Is that too much? You guys are such a fraud. Replace it with someone whose voice is similar to Uthman. Uthman. Your, the voice of that guy is similar. Do you think your dad he was doing something wrong around? I mean, you have many siblings you do not know about them. It's possible. But most likely, that's Allah. He replaced you by somebody. He cloned you. So now, I invite you. The Prophet, he married her. He, he freed her and honor, to honor her and married her. <laughs> So listen, we will free you, we will honor you, but we, do, we will not marry you, all right? So don't worry about that, you know, we are not that kind. Be the man and just say, hey, Christian Prince, this is my Skype, this is my real Skype. Muslims, Christians, Hindus, Buddhas, atheists, whoever you are, what is the problem? Why he will not do it? Let everybody enjoy the Muslims. If they, if, if you think that always you can get anyone busted, well, you can get me busted, and I will not hang up on you, and I will not mute you, and you will not mute me because you are the man, right? So what the problem? The problem, you are making pee-pee. Before even you mention my name. And remember, he is the one who started bullying. You know, he says Christian princes and burqa. Bully, he's a bully. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be bully like you, but I'm just describing you as you are. I don't say to men, mashallah, you are six foot, flirting with men. I don't give five to the one who insult the Bible and call him a brother and give him a hug. I mean, for the sake of the shin of Allah, the guy, he ate the Quran. You call him bro? You give him five? You take selfie with him? Is it this is all against the Quran? Oh, because you are wearing burqa. You are afraid. If you don't, do the simple thing we ask for. Just put Skype in your screen. And those people here will bring me your Skype. That's mean you are a potato. And we fried you. And you don't dare to call to fix what you did yesterday and if it's not you who called yesterday prove it by calling us and showing us that you have better answers and you can refute us and you can defeat us is that fair people what is the problem what are you worried from if you want i will call you you go live you go live in your channel i will call you what is the problem then I have actually uh, an idea for you. What about you ambush me? Like you say, Christian Prince, okay, this is my Skype. And then when I call you, I found that next to you, there's Mimi Hijab and all the gang, you know, ambush me. Like bring five Abdul with you, six Abdul. Maybe six is not good, you know? 
bring uh, Abu Bakr and Omar and all the gang. Can you? Don't forget Aisha. She was not sure at the age of six, man. Bring all the gang with you and I will be alone. Do you dare? I will not say that this guy, he got me five, six people to help him. No. I am asking for you to do it. Still, you will not dare to do so. <sighs> bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. So he freed her and he honored her and he married her. And later we find that he never freed her, he never married her, and never honored her. He was effing her. Look like, you know, in Islam, if somebody will honor somebody, he if him. Uh-huh. That's a lot of honor. Mm. I mean, it makes sense. When they enslave you, they are honoring you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you know that like, the one who enslaved her, he was a Christian king? Like, hold on. What make him a Christian king? Abdul. Don't you Muslim, you say that this person, he honored the prophet and he believed, and that's why he sent him a gift? Obviously, is a scam like your prophet. And what kind of a prophet? He received a gift from Amazon. He opened the box. He see a woman and her cousin and her family in the box. And he accept the gift. Shouldn't he return it? Shouldn't he say, hey, listen, I don't accept this. This is haram. He love it. He right away took her to the bed. So if the one who sent the women is a scumbag, your prophet is X scumbag, which means X many times, not X before. Coward like your prophet. When the Christian came to Muhammad to debate him, they spent the whole day talking to him and he was sitting, he never answered. Second day, he told him a verse that Allah told him. He says, Allah told me, to bring, okay, he said to me the following, bring your wives, I bring no, your, my wives, bring your children, I bring my children, and let us invoke Allah to curse the one is lying. Do you want to do that? Honestly, do you want to do that? Are you going to debate me by saying, bring your wives, I bring my wives? Bring your kids, I bring my kids? And let us invoke Allah to cut the penis who is lying. I know you will choose this uh, subject because you will say, okay, I will lose nothing anyway. I mean, in your case. Like, okay, I invoke Allah. I accept your challenge, Christian Prince. May Allah cut the penis. Okay, well, you will lose nothing. You don't have one. Prove it and call me. You will love such a curse. What you will lose in any way? Nothing. And by the way, the prophet, he said, I was the most weak person in earth between all mankind in boom, boom. Look, what the heck? The guy don't have one too. And then I invoked my God, Allah, and then he sent me a dish of shish kebab. I ate it and it grew. Like, what the heck? Is that miracle a girl like uh, the one we buy from Home Depot? So Muhammad, he don't have a tomato there? And then after he ate the shish kebab, well, okay, eat shish kebab and give me Skype. Invoke Allah to send you shish kebab and then you will be the man. Don't worry, you will not be weak no more. So my friends, if this is the one who called me yesterday is Uthman or not, it is even more horrible that he is saying it's not me, still he will not call me and he will not let me call him. It's very obvious. If you are a Muslim, if you are a Christian, I know that if you are a Muslim, you are against me, no problem. But ask yourself, why this guy don't want me to call him? I mean, what he will lose anyway if he is going to make victory? The answer is very simple. He knew that he is no match for two seconds. 
Do you have other answer? This face to face is just an excuse because you know if a Christian prince he go and debate usually face to face with people, then people will say, okay, this guy always he do it. Now why he don't do it? I never did that. I'm sitting wearing my short, drinking my coffee, thanks to the Lord, having fun, making Muslims leave Islam. God is good. I don't go anywhere. I will go hunting later. And here in the internet, I hunt for raccoon. In reality, we hunt for mountain lions, you know, mountain lions. Real lions, not those potatoes, you know. Raccoon. So raccoon, give me your Skype. Prove to the Muslim girls at least, to your wives at least, to your family at least, that you are not terrified to speak to Christian Prince or let him even speak to you. This excuse about coming to me, I challenge you face to face, all of us, we knew that this is just to avoid me. Give me your Skype and be the man. You know what? Don't give me your Skype, give it to the Muslims. Put Skype in your screen, says, I am not afraid, I will open my Skype, let us say, this day. Every day, don't you go to the park? Huh? Say, okay. How come, by the way, yesterday it wasn't you, you were not in the park? It's an accident, you know, an accident, okay. Yeah, it happened. Isn't it you every uh, Saturday you go to the park? No? You were calling me. Okay. So, put your Skype at least for the Muslims. Say, here, Muslim. I am not afraid of Muslims to call me. Now, come on. Even Muslims are afraid to call you in Skype. I will call you as a Muslim. And I will change my name to Bilal. And I will say to you, Assalamu Alaikum. And the disaster will happen. Now you will say, oh, this is a fraud, this is not right. Ah. So Allah replace Isa by Isa is not, is okay. He changed the name of Yeshua into Isa. He took even the name change. Look at who's this, who's this guy, Isa? I mean, we never heard of Isa. Yeah, he's a Isa, he is the son of Maryam, and she is the sister of Aaron. So the stupid Muhammad. He heard the Jews saying that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, the real sister of Aaron, she have a son, which is really against what the Bible teaching. This is the tradition, some tradition books saying that, that she have a son, her, her name is Esau. Muhammad, he thought about it. Esau, the son of Maryam, and Maryam is the sister of Aaron. Oh, that is Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so Abdul I have no time for you I got to go soon for the hunt you are just a little raccoon you guys do you know how the raccoon look like mean raccoon man man raccoon so if you are not if you are a lion you are not a raccoon Give me your Skype. All what I'm asking for. Anyone is watching, he knew that it is not really too much to ask for. Your Majesty, your Honorable Prophet, you are a companion of Allah. Your Holiness, can you please? Please. Okay, hold on. Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe we need some uh, aid, a vision aid, uh, uh, you know, to uh, to do what we need to do. What, what you need to do? What we need to do, do, you know, the do? You know when the, the do, the, the, the do, you know? Yeah, okay, the do. Uh, all right. So, uh, okay, let, me, let, us, uh, let us do this. All right. Uh,
can you please give us your Skype? Oh, I'm typing in Arabic. Hold on, I have to switch. And this is what I hate about my, you know, sometimes you, you type for like an hour and then you look at the screen and you find yourself you are typing in the wrong language. And then that will turn it into uh, gibberish, you know, you know gibberish? Gibberish means Quran, in case you do not know. Okay. So uh, let us make a friendly request to the hero who nobody can debate him, brother. Which he is afraid that we will tell him what he said before previously, and people will die laughing. So, Your Holiness, look how nice. Can you give me your Skype? I mean, how friendly I can make it more than this. Oh, this is not for you, actually. Even it, it fit perfectly. You know? <laughs> but by mistake, I click on it. Look at this. Okay, Your Holiness, can you give me your Skype? Please. Prove to every Abdul, every Muslim, that you are the man. And you can refute Christianity so easy. And you can prove Islam to be from God. And look, I put light behind you here in the screen. Do you see? Your holiness. There was a light coming from the private part of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Allah pray on him. From her private part when she gave birth to him. And the light went all the way to Damascus. Yes, brother. Until now, Damascus is shining from that light. So can you please make the light shine from your sky? and bring victory to Allah. If you refuse, everybody knows that you are a potato. There is no other solution. What you will lose? A Muslim, what you will lose? For the sake of the shin of Allah, what you will lose? Let this guy call you, get him busted, let everybody laugh, Christian will not listen to him no more. Muslims will be victorious. And Allah will replace you with something beautiful and more nicer in heaven. Yeah, by the way, Allah, he promised Muslim women they will be 70 times more pretty in heaven. Which is very silly, by the way, because if everybody gets 70 times more pretty, that means you're still ugly. So, I hope Sheikh Uthman, he will think about it. That if he call me, if he let me call him, he will get 70 times more pretty, which is priceless. It is the dream of every Muslim to be 70 times more pretty. Even though this dream is made for women, but who knows what is under the cloth? You never know. Prove to us that you are a man. Otherwise, Allah will make you 70 times pretty like all the female he promised. All what we are asking for, your Skype. And tell the Muslims what day you want to be online and ambush me, bring all the Muslims with you to help you. Five, six, seven, eight, ten, twenty, seventy, seventy-two, seventy-one. 10, 20, 70, 72, 71. Ambush me. And you can shout, you can scream at me and say, you can say whatever you want. Open challenge to the Abdul cult. I'm your Christian prince. I defeat Allah. And Allah is my joke. And because you are in this ability to defend your stupid cult, which is nothing but a pimp God promising penises and vagina, you are afraid to speak to me. And when you call me, you regret. And this is why you will not call. And you will not let me call you. 
Otherwise, ask yourself, all of you, if this guy he knew for sure he can win, do you think he will hesitate? Who is the one is rejecting? Who is the one who don't want it to happen? It is obvious. So let us see if he will say, okay, this is my Skype. I will be, uh, let us say, I will be in the park all day long, uh, Saturday. You have the whole day to call me and I will call you immediately. I promise. And this is a promise of a man. Not a promise of Allah who never keep his promise. Even your prophet, when he swore to his wives, he will not sleep with Mary the cop. Second day, he made a verse about it, says, Allah, he says to me, why well, you want to keep your promise? Allah, he released you from your oath. Look, what the heck? This guy, he just took an oath in the name of his God. <laughs> so, Abdul, I'm so glad that you are upset from me because it's a great sign that we are doing great work when those who oppose the Messiah are upset from us. If those who are opposing the Messiah, the Bible says, who is the liar? Who is the liar? Is the one who denied the Son and the Father. So when those who deny the Son and the Father, they are angry from us, that means we are following the truth. It's a blessing for us. The second they start saying to a Christian, God bless you, that means this Christian is a false Christian. The more angry they are, the more proof that the temperature is high and the fever is taking over. And soon they will be healed because fever will do a lot of damage to Islam. And this is what we do here. So if you are a Muslim, leave your comment in the page of uh, Sheikh Uthman. He's a shaky shake. Tell him, brother, what you will lose. I mean, come on. Take the guy. Three hours, you will beat him up. You will make everybody laugh at him. You will make him the joke of, of, uh, of, of the, the, the internet. Please, brother. Even Christian friends, he call you your holiness. This is what they say, the holy prophet. I mean, the prophet, he jump in the dirty water. He take a shower with dead dogs. Women of blood, different period. Even Pupu is there. And yet they call him the holy prophet. I mean, he's just too much holy. And he's full of lies. Actually, I heard there's a lies she used to live in the pant of the prophet. She wanted to make a book about, like, the memory of a lies in the prophet pant. Because she was witnessing for a lot of things there. Muhammad Rabin Safiya, Muhammad Rabin this woman, Muhammad Rabin Juria, Muhammad Rabin everybody. So the, the lies was there. I mean, she is a real witness, first hand witness. Imagine at that time, this lies she have a YouTube camera. Man, her channel will beat everybody. Like those channels about hunting, I'm thinking to make one, you know, uh, and uh, uh, like shooting and etc. It will beat them right away. I mean, the lies, she have a camera, and she is in the pant of the Prophet. And everything, all the action is happening in there. Especially after the Prophet, he eat the shish kebab. I want to see what happened, man. Eh? No wonder in the Middle East, shish kebab is so expensive. The wife, she will say to her husband, Honey, don't you think it's time for you to go and buy some shish kebab? He said, why shish kebab exactly? She said, the prophet he used to be not to be able like you. He ate shish kebab. And praise be to Allah, he got the power of 40 men. He don't even have the power of a mosquito. And then you go to the market, you see there's no shish kebab in the market, it's gone. Alhamdulillah. True story. The prophet don't lie. His God sent him this shish of kebab. He ate it. He got the power of 40 men. I mean, have you ever heard of a God? He fixed a medical problem by sending a dish of shish kebab. I thought Allah, he says, B is going to be. So Allah, he heard the news. Man, Muhammad, my prophet, the one I chose him, the one, the most beloved for me. His penis is not functioning. His antenna is not going up. What we would do? 
Allah, he play music, he play the anthem, still nothing stand up. So Allah, he said, mm, I have some Indian spice and some Chinese spice. I will mix them with some insect from Thailand for the boom boom. And we will make them together, a lot of protein, and we will send them in a dish with the angel Jibreel because Jibreel is a delivery boy. Allah, he put them in a dish, brother. And Jibreel, he came. But by the way, the Quran says that it take the angel 1,000 year to arrive from the heaven to earth. So this dish cooked 1,000 year before Muhammad was born. <sighs> mean. That's a very ancient food. This is rocky shish kebab. <laughs> Anyway, I better leave you here. I hope you guys have a good time. I'm here. We love the Muslims, but we are here to get bust all those liars. Those are deceiving everybody. They have no honesty and no dignity, and that's why they are afraid to talk to us. I am here. I open my Skype. I say, whoever dare to call me, call me. Those cowards don't dare to say, okay, this is our Skype call us. As simple as that. People do not need to see your face. People want to see your answer. People want to see reference. As you see, when we say something, we put it in the screen. Your holiness. You know what? You remind me of the love guru. You sound like one. <laughs> Too much love. David Wood Brew. David Wood Brew. Is it the Quran says you will not find a single believer a single believer a single what a single the single doesn't mean married here by the way i know your english is funny like mine single here mean not even one not even one will be kind and friendly with those who oppose allah and if you want to tell me that david wood is not opposing allah people will die laughing at you literally Look at the Quran. لن تجد قوما يؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر يودون من حاد الله ورسوله. What does that mean in English? Oh Muhammad, S A W S A W like you know like in a short wave you know you know short wave like radio okay because Muhammad received short waves only you know Muhammad has received the the Quran as a ring like da dun da dun da dun da dun you know will not find any people who believe in Allah and the last day make a friendship with those who oppose Allah. The guy, he did not only make him a friend, he took selfie, he gave him a hug, he gave him a five, he called him brother. Ah, okay, maybe you were intimidated, you were scared. So you were calling him those, uh, so you will say, oh, I was practicing taqiyya, huh? but it doesn't work. Taqiyya, you know, I mean, okay, this guy he is not threatening you and you live in America, it's a free country. You do not need to have anyone as a friend. You do not need to call him my friend. You do not need to call him bro. You do not need to give him five. You do not need to do all of those things. But you did, because you're a potato. Hey, I like potatoes. I take it back. You are not potato. Hey, man, man, come on. That will make me hate potato forever. That's disgusting. That's not a good description. So Christians, Christian Prince is victorious because the Lord is in my side. Not because I am victorious. If the Lord is with me, who could be against me. And if the Muslim they believe that their Lord is with them, and who could be against them, so what is the problem? Why you are hesitating? Because you are a potato, and you know that your Lord is not with you, and he is not able to do anything. Victory to the Lord. In the name of the Messiah, we defeat the devil. In the name of the Messiah, we love the Muslims and we save them from the cult of Muhammad. In the name of the Messiah, we will give them a hand and shelter and we will take them from the swamp 
and the dirty Bi'ru Bida'a, where Muhammad used to take a shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period. In the name of the Lord, they fear the truth with us. In the name of the Lord, we save many. In the name of the Lord, many believe Islam. In the name of the Lord, salvation will come. Even the Sri Muhammadan, they are waiting for one person to come. His name is the Messiah, and Muhammad in their religion is dead under the ground, and the wound eat him up. Our Lord is a living Lord. Their Lord is dead. Their Lord, he takes shower with dead dogs and women of blood from period. Their Lord, he jump in a stinky water. And he believe that water is nothing make it impure. Don't you know that 99% of piss is water? Abdul? Hello? Brother? So in the name of the Lord, we always win souls. And remember, those people, they hate us, but there's many who used to hate Christ and they accepted Jesus. And now they are the best of us. In the previous generations and now, Paul himself, he used to go after the Christians, he wanna kill them. So once Paul was number one enemy to Christianity. So my friends, don't hate them. They are poor people who they need help. They are following a pimp who promised them private parts, wine and women and the Billy dancers and women who they are jailed in their tents so he can deceive them. This is how Satan, he take control of you by holding your temptation against you. Your sexual desire, your desire to food and money. That is Islam. The heaven of Allah is nothing but sex, food, and gold and silver. When the God of religion, he promised you a t-shirt made by the Persian. I love. And I cry in the same time. How in the world there's a human being, he can believe in such a garbage that somebody is going to take me to heaven and he will give me a couch. A couch. And then he will go to Iran, to the Shia, and he will buy, at that time, the Stablaqa is made by the Kuffar. They are not even Muslim. They don't believe in Islam. It's like saying Gucci now. Nike. How stupid, how foolish. Stablaqa. Gucci, Gucci. And then brother. Brother, from every fruit, there is two kinds, brother. <laughs> yeah, hey, dude, there's two bananas? Like what, Somalian bananas and American bananas? <laughs> this is a promise of God or this is a cartoon? My friends, I love you all. Oh, I take it, not all. Okay, <laughs> there's some people there are crazy. Uh, not all, not all, some, some of you. <laughs> I keep a blacking people in the chat for, you know, without saying I love you all. So imagine what will happen. So I take it back, I take it back. So anyway, I love those who love the Lord. And those who oppose him, you will suffer badly. There's no holy beside his holy name and I challenge any Muslim to find me one person better than the Messiah 
And I challenged the Muslim to find me one thing about Muhammad wasn't filthy. From theft, to child molestation, to rape, to kidnapping, to torture, to flirting with the wife of his own, his own son when she is married. And all of this is documented by their own books, which is supposedly filtered. And the Muslim, they say, anything is not suitable to be about the Prophet, we took it off. So this is after filtration. After filtration, the Prophet, he jumped with water, have dead dogs. After filtration, the Prophet is jumping in the water, have women of blood from period. And stinky garbage. This is after the filtration. So imagine how many hadith the Muslim they filter and they took away because it is so disgusting. And Erdogan he launched a conference to filter the hadith. And then the Saudi crown prince he says it is time to filter. I mean, after all the filtration, you want to filter again? You know what? Why you don't change the name of the hadith, the filter one, to Voltaire? He's a French guy. I mean, Voltaire will fit perfectly. We filter, we filter, we filter. That will make it too many filtering. Enter with that. Nothing will be left. Let us filter it again and again. So we are going to wait for this little Abdul to make a special, 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 easy thing. Post your Skype on your screen and say, this is my Skype. Who dare to call me? Very simple. Forget about Christian Press. This is my Skype. I will be here every week, once a day in the park, and, and my Skype will be open. I record it. Or you can do it from your home. Your holiness. We are waiting for your Skype. Please. We are begging for it. I mean, come on. Your holiness. You are talking to us, you will bring the light of Allah to every Christian house. People will leave Christianity like waves after you debate with a Christian prince. When they see how your holiness, the love guru, was able not only to convince, not only to refute, but to destroy your holiness. Hold on, I need a tissue. <laughs> I have too much emotion now because of this. That's too much emotion. Your Holiness, please. I mean, should we beg? More? Should I go on the ground? Should I go on my knee? Like, come on. Are you going to like to ask me like Allah? He ordered the angels to bow down to Adam. Come on, I'm not. You know, I'm not an angel. Angels bow down to Adam. I'm not real. I want to. I would love to see Jibril going down, bowing down to Adam like an Adam. Look at him. <laughs> Look at Jibril. <laughs> Look at Jibril. He is down, bowing down to me. I can't believe it. I love it. I love it. I like. Can you ask him to? Can you ask him to do it again? I mean, your God is hilarious. And was the angel faithful, or they were not faithful? You called me yesterday. You said they were faithful. You can fix it. Let me call you now, and then you will say they were not faithful. Fix it. Do something. Do something. Do, do, Middle Eastern, like all of us of Middle Eastern, you know, we have like certain letters. Sometimes, like we do not know how to say in, in English correctly. So, like something. You want to see somebody saying something? That means he's in uh, Middle Eastern, mostly in Egyptian. Something. Yeah. So say something. Please. Please, can you hear me? Hello?
Don't tell me that shaitan, he did piss in your ears as the prophet said. By the way, yesterday I cleaned my ears. You will not believe what I found. I found hadith. I found Quran pages. I found tafsir. I mean, all the garbage of the world, especially in my left ear. If you see it, it's disgusting. Like I was cleaning it. You know, I have those like, you know, water thing, you know, you push water inside your ear. And I do it like once every few years. Uh, and man, you will not believe. I found the Bukhari there. I could not believe it. What Al Bukhari is doing in my left ear? What the heck? The Prophet was truthful. When he said that Shaitan, he pissed in your ears. And look like Shaitan, he pissed Bukhari. I can explain that to you. It's a true story, by the way. This is a true story. You go to sleep, and then, like, if you think, by the way, about your ears, they look like a twelve seat. Let us be honest here. I mean, come on. You can try to deny it. You can laugh at it in the beginning. But if you are truthful and a person who is inspired with logic, you see, take, put between two brackets this word logic, you know. Shaitan, he pee in your ears. Like Shaitan, he put like one leg in the, in the right side of your ear and, and the other leg and like he hold his thing. And, and this is what you hear at night, by the way. Subhanallah. How the Prophet, he come with this? Allah told him. Allah told him about Shaitan urinating in your ears. And the wax you see in your ears is the only one who can give a scientific explanation is Prophet Muhammad. Who can refute that? Nobody. <sighs> this is why brothers and sisters we have to seek refuge from Satan. Otherwise, Satan, look, Satan is all over you. Satan, he is the one who caused your belly bomb, according to Muhammad. Do you know how the belly bomb happened? Brother and sister, Satan, he tried to spit at Adam. And he, the spit or the spat, hit his belly bomb. Like, what is this, man? How the prophet he did? I mean, this is amazing. I was thinking, what is that there? It was the spit of shaitan. That's deep. I mean, it's deep. If you put your finger there, you can go deeper. Shaitan, he spit. It like, looked like the saliva of shaitan is like an acid, you know? You know the thing, John Biden, you know? So like, yeah. that reminds me of maybe hijab. So if somebody spit, that's make him God. You do not need to, to do that, Mimi uh, Hijab. Just speak like Zach and Naik, and all the spit will come out automatically. Like a gum machine. But the question is, how the Prophet, he knew all this information? Nobody knows this information, save the Prophet. This is something special about him. Special. He's a very special person. Let us talk French now. Le, you know, Le Muhammad, Le Idiot, Lou stupid, Lou madness. And this is a French, by the way. We just add Lou in front of any word. That will make it French, you know. It's very easy. See, I just taught you a language for free. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> very inspiration, very inspiration. Unbelievable. And, uh, brother, if you don't pray before you have intercourse with your wife, Shaitan will round himself around your penis. That's deep. The first one who discovers satanic king a kingdom. But what? But what? And then Shaitan he will do your wife and those children. They will be your, his children. Like what the heck? Yes, brother, because you did not say the recitation of the prayer. 
You can search on the internet. You're not even needing to give me reference. The Muslim, they are so proud about this. But, you know, once there was a Muslim, he keep coming to a chat room, Christian chat room, and he said the same to them. You are the sons of Satan. You are the son of Satan. You are the son of Satan. So once the admin of the chat room, he said, can you please take the microphone and say something? I know you can get him busted, but I don't know what to say to him. He keeps saying the same thing. So I took the microphone. I said, so are you sure that this hadith is sahih? He said, absolutely. I said, are you sure? He said, what's wrong with you? I just told you, absolutely. I said, are you sure? I said, what's wrong with you, man? I said, well, the prophet, he always say things three times. But look what happened now. Because you are sure that if you don't say the prayer to Allah before intercourse, and your prophet father was not a believer, that means when he had sex with the mother of Muhammad, he did not have that prayer. Therefore, Muhammad himself is a son of shaitan. Like, what the heck? The guy who took the microphone, he said, I pray to Allah to curse you. You are smart like shaitan. May Allah destroy you. No, but the heck, it's you who insisted that this is a true hadith. If you don't say the prayer, shaitan will round himself around the penis of the man. And therefore, he will do the women with the man. And the children will be the children of the shaitan. And this is, even exists. You know, the, the, the original of it from the Quran, the Riyatahu. I ask you three times, are you sure? What the heck? Low IQ will make you a donkey, you. This is the truth. Do you remember the guy in EF Dawa? If EF Dawa, I mean, look at the F there. EF Dawa. Okay, is, is that like internet? I don't know. So, do you remember he said that the the, the word uh, soul mean the male member? This is chapter seven, verse one one seventy two. It says that Allah He took from the back of Adam their children, the back, the back, the back. You see here. It says loin. Where is it? it says the back. Look, look at the translation. Let us change the translator. Loin, huh? Loin. Yeah. It is how to hilali, a tani hilali Allah, Lebanese Muhammad. Okay, hold on. Where is the verse? Okay. Okay. Where is the. Where is the word back? It's gone. Look at this guy. This guy is that he don't have even he don't have balls, he don't have anything. It's gone, totally gone. Let us see this one. Kitab, kitab. Ah, okay. Lions? It says that? The Arabic word is here. here. Ruhur, Ruhurihim. Their bags. What's wrong with the Muslims? Shish kebab translation. A different let's see more duty I, I think I think duty would do better let us see duty I like duty by the way where is the verse hold on here we go brought forth descendant from the loins look where is the word loins let us change the translation you see you have to struggle with the translation if you know Arabic but I have a solution for you you can take the Arabic letters or the Arabic verse and post it in Google translation. You will find it says Zuhur mean their backs. Zahar. Oh man. <sighs> anyway, anyway. You need to find, you have to keep uh, looking for a translation. Maybe you will find one of them. He is little decent to say what it says there or here. Okay. Of a spring of the lions, of lions, eh, lions. Okay, lions. Yeah. But you can do this, by the way. The easiest way always to get them busted if you want, even if you do not know, you know, the language. You can copy the same page 
and I can share the page with you. Here we go. And you can click at Google Translation. Now, we know that Google Translation is not too much accurate, right? But eh, it's a, just a way to see if what they are saying, if the word loins is there. Eh, let us see. So this is the page. In the, Remember, you have to open it with the Google browser. So we click here, translate to English. Verse number 172. Uh oh look what it says from their back <laughs> here it says from their lawns <laughs> what a tomato religion don't squeeze the tomato too much a lot of juice will come out and in the case of Islam there's no good juice it is only the holy prophet piss so guys i want to say thank you it's time for me to go we are always victorious and let us see if this guy he bear even for once to say this is my skype i challenge you to call me but you know the answer already he she will not dare because they knew we will corner them even if they are inside a square And I promise you that always. Humbly, this is your brother, the one who is willing to wash your feet and the Muslim feet in order to clean them from the filth of Islam so they will accept Jesus. We love the Muslims, but we will never love the devil and evil. And Islam is nothing but a devilish cult teach violence and hatred. And we prove it every day. Thank you. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. And Islam without lies dies. See you soon. Take care.